Splish, Splash, welcome to the Echo Center Pool, where there is tons of fun to be had. We play games like trying to get all of the items out of the water, and we swing off the um, rope, and we go down the slides. But this isn't your average day at the pool. No, today the Navy League cadets have taken over the premises. These cadets are, are here to obviously have fun, but they are going to be learning a little bit of water on water training, uh, kind of like what an abandoned ship drill would be like, obviously in a, in a more fun setting. Um, and overall, like the, both the Navy League program and the Sea Cadet program, our, our main foundation is uh, teaching life skills uh, to the youth of Canada. So things like citizenship and teamwork. And for Sea Cadet Kylie, for her, today was all about leadership. I'm doing the treasure hunt. I'm making sure that they're staying safe and doing what their tasks properly. Like, um, only one of the cadets are allowed to go in the water at a time. And if, as soon as they come out of the water, they're allowed to, another one's allowed to go in. With this program, we, we give countless opportunities for, um, for cadets to learn motivational leadership, situational leadership. Um, and so Miss Anderson in particular, you can see how she was a Navy League cadet two years ago, and now here she is being a leader to those Navy League cadets. And while the average person sees giggles and splashes and a flurry of activity, Lieutenant Carson looks around his pool of cadets and sees nothing but bright futures. I've been doing this for about eight years, so I've, I've seen thousands, absolutely thousands of cadets progress through the system and it's amazing to see them years later and here they are as Canada's next, Canada's next leaders. I, I, I see some as uh, working as politicians in, in Ottawa. I've seen uh, one who's now a, uh, a swimmer, a rescue swimmer for the U.S. Coast Guard, right? Uh, so it's absolutely amazing how we're able to, to take these kids that would, would normally not have the opportunity um, that, uh, and we're able to provide that to them and see them grow over the seven years in our program. And things like a fun water safety day in the pool are just the type of activities to get them there. In Port Alberni, I'm Jenny Fortin.